Sir Bertram Topham Hatt wanted a fire engine for quite a while. And one day, he bought it. And it would arrive on the perfect day possible. One day, Henry was pulling a train when he finally realized there was dynamite on the train. Why do we need to bring the dynamite forward, Charger? Ah, glad you asked, Henry. Well, we need to bring it at the old harbor. Then, Henry was shocked. Why me? Why do I have to take it there? Because, Henry, you're the only one who has enough time, perhaps. Bother! I wouldn't have taken this train if that was the case. Later, Henry brought the two vans at the old harbor. And he went to the Natford sidings for a rest. One problem that wasn't made was that the vans were secured and Henry was lucky to not fire them up. No one was at the harbor. No one had to work there. Not a single worker. And that was the most luckiest thing of all. While Henry was sleeping, he was mumbling himself a little tuned. A sudden grumbling came up. Then, a sudden noise. What in the name of Sheriff of Maxwell Way? Henry had woken up completely because of the further explosion. It was a huge fire causing it from the explosion. And because of all the fires, the fire brigade came. Luckily, there were no tankers. But if there were, well, let's just say, this would have been very much worse. The old harbor was in complete need of a rebuild. Thomas and Henry shivered when they arrived at the old harbor. Oh no. Oh, Annie and Clarabel and I were supposed to come here. I'm glad James was late for once. Yeah, great job, James. Great job. You did something good for once. Well, thank you. I think. I don't know. Imagine what would have happened to me. I'm the one who brought the explosions. I would have been disintegrated. Oh, just the thought of it. Then Sir Tobin Hatt, the man himself, spoke next. Well, of all things didn't happen, and we should all be very glad of that. Shouldn't we? <sighs> Anyways, the harbor will be rebuilt and uh, everything will come back to normal. Flynn, the fire engine, got a lot of attention from all the other engines. They all thanked him for saving the harbor and putting the fire out. Now, at least, it didn't become a crisp. Although he did like the attention, he didn't want it all that much. He more wanted it to be subtle. And that night at the sheds, Flynn was very happy to make some people happy. And to do very well on his first day on Sodor. Meanwhile, Henry didn't want to work around fuel, fire, tankers, or 
dynamite for quite a while. Don't you think so?